One small step for man. I remember looking at the stars through my dad's telescopes. And I was around rockets when I was a young boy and never left rockets and learned how to build rockets. And there's only one other thing to do, and that's actually to be the first civilian to put a rocket in the space. I've always been intrigued by the amount of power you can produce out of a rocket. I'm kind of a rockaholic. Check this out, guys. Huh? Is that a nose cone or what? I don't drink alcohol, I don't smoke, I really don't have any bad habits, but I, I'll tell you what, I am addicted to rocketry. I told you guys this thing worked. Yeah, it's warm right now. Good times. Yeah. No matter if it was the fines or time in prison, I was going to push that button. T-minus 10 seconds, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, ignition. Well, the first rocket that uh, we built is actually capable of going into space back in 1997. Everything looked real good for a while. It boosted well. That was pretty depressing. Oh, this would have been a beautiful flight if it were to land, I'll tell you. I thought putting a rocket into space was going to be easy. Wrong. OK, this is the nose cone and payload section in here. We were told that we had to start going to the Office of Space Transportation Department. Basically, I just thought, well, I could just call them up and get some type of a form to start the procedure with. But for some reason, I could never get a form. This thing just seemed to get stretched out and stretched out. So it's like a catch-22. They tell us to go to their office, but there is no procedure to even start it. They sent me out a stack of papers like that. First off, I couldn't read it. You know, I told them I had dyslexia. When it comes to numbers and words and letters, they get mixed up in my head and uh, I can't straighten it out. We're going to make sure we get the exact spot. This is the exact coordinates that we gave to the FAA. OK. And then finally, what happened there was, ah, I lucked out. Well, we brought Jerry in on the team. And Jerry is a very sharp guy. How do you spell launch? L. Yeah, L. -A. <laughs> The government had no regulations for how to do this. Uh, they did not want to help him do this. And of course, uh, Kai and his um, his motivation to move forward, uh, I mean, he'll run over the top of you if you get in his way. One thing is to build a rocket. One thing is design and build a rocket and launch it, all that. You know, that's not bad. But then, when all you got these federal agencies involved, it's just like when I went to school. What I couldn't stand was all the other stuff that comes with it. He's just a rocket scientist. Well, you yeah, didn't need to spell. After we filled all the forms and we got the insurance in the place and we did an environmental impact study, I mean, we went through the whole gamut. Now, they've got everything in their hands. And so I call Randy up and I says, uh, how come I haven't got my uh, license yet? He says, well, I don't know. I says, well, where is it? He says, I don't know. I didn't know if I was coming back or not if I pushed the button, but I was going to push that button. We're just counting on, uh, you know, getting it done. We have everything else in place here, and uh, now we're just waiting for the final. So we're just going to go forward, uh, unload the truck, get the rocket in the tower here, go through our rundown today, and uh, tomorrow morning we're going to plan on pushing the button. We had a call from Washington, D.C. What you got for us? And then all of a sudden we got a shock. OK, hold on for a second. Let me just talk to Kai a second. What, what they're looking for is they want to be able to contact us in case they want to put a hold on a launch because you've got air traffic in the area. Is that the deal? Now we had to come up with how do we get the communications back and forth. At the time, all the cell phones did not work out there. 
we are the day before launch and we still do not have our authorization from the FAA to fly. Yeah, this is uh, just getting pretty heavy here, boy. <laughs> We had this guy by the name of Danger Ranger come up to us. This is really cool. Yeah, my patrol vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to go out there, Black Rock out there, and there's still a bunch of hippies out there from Burning Man. I think you are. One of them's got a sat phone, a satellite phone. OK. Very good. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thanks. <laughs> is that cool or what? <laughs> We get out there and they're not wearing no clothes. And I pull up one, oh man. <laughs> so I just put, just kind of focused my eyes on their eyes and walked up to them and asked for Dan. Hi, Tom Michelson. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> my partner in crime, Jerry Larson. <laughs> nice to meet you. Well, we need some type of communication from a telephone to us out there if also a plane comes into our... Sure. So is there any way you can help us out with that at well, all? Well, we're giving you two of our, our good radios. We have a repeater up at the at my work what, ranch. What is this day-to-day? -day? Man, you can <laughs> well, We want to help you out. Oh, I mean, my God. Thank you so we're much. We're kind of fighting the government is what we do for oh. a living. So. <laughs> I always thought that we were going to get a break someplace, that somebody was going to come and help us. And uh, luckily, uh, we did get some help. And uh, again, anything you need, we'll help you out with. Well, uh, what a bunch of great guys. Well, guys, look what we have. 390,000 feet. Can you imagine to have a piece of paper in your hand and being the first civilian in the world to get a license to launch a rock into space? I'm holding the piece of paper that proves it right there. And here's a guy that could barely read and write with no education, no college, no nothing. And I'm the guy that convinced the government that I could get, launch a rocket into space. T minus 15, stand by for terminal count. The, the small civilian space exploration team was first in cracking through that very difficult barrier. Three, two, one, ignition. <laughs> Missile away. Out of the tower that thing flew. I could not believe it. Go, 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 go. Come on, Space, man. go, go.